Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Another day, nice bright sun, no winds. Uh, about a foot of snow everywhere uh, with drifts ranging anywhere from a foot to about three feet. So there'll be lots of snow blowing happening. Here we have uh, one person who's feeling like it's plus 23. Plus 40, okay. So anyways, these are all plowed, the little red's out. The 601 further down that way is out. And we just uh, made enough room for this plane to come out. The flying monkey is gonna be out soon. Now we're just gonna finish fueling and it'll be ready to go. are on Shimong Lake. We just landed. Here's the flying monkey, Junior there. I guess he's a little tired. Uh, there's Little Red with Ted. And there's our blue and white with Doug. And uh, I guess we're gonna wait for a flock of two Zenir 701s to come in. Uh, we're gonna see if we can catch those guys here. And then here's a causeway that just goes through the middle of the lake. Uh, I believe you saw that on the video. And here's the restaurant that we're gonna go on. Okay, so I think landing on a virgin snow is better than landing on a snowmobile tracks. They're a little bumpy. So what do you have to say, Ted? Well, with respect to me, I, bumpy on both. I, the snowmobile track goes very bumpy, but then that's my normal landings on a grass runway. <laughs> All right, you guys got it. And there we go. There are two 701s uh, touching down on the lake. Uh, the first one's got a Continental A65. I believe it's got about 700 hours now on it and no issues. Um, I know there will be uh, lots of uh, comments or questions about 701 and 65 being underpowered or overweight. I can answer those all if you want. Uh, this is a first-hand uh, experience, not a second-hand story. Um, but anyways, and the uh, one behind, uh, the white 701, has got a Rotax 912 100 horse. Uh, both of these guys are... There we go. We got this guy. It runs like a charm. I think I don't want to get burnt uh, on the comments uh, on the video by saying this, but I don't think anything beats those traditional engines. Um, the technology that's been flying for over 80 years. Uh, let's just walk back, go to... That's another one. As I said, this one's got a 100 horse uh, 912. All right, uh, we'll catch you guys uh, in a bit. All right, hey Jamie, say hi to the camera. <laughs> Finally, we made it to Shimong Lake. Uh, we can cross that out. Uh, today might be the last ski flying day for us. Uh, looking at the long-term forecast, it's looking like it's, uh, the weather's gonna warm up. So we didn't want it to miss an opportunity today because the temperature is just uh, perfect. Uh, very close to zero, but still in negative. So it's not gonna melt anything. It's still uh, powdery snow. Mr. Ted, very seriously scanning the menu. And Jamie. Oh, there we go. That's the most confusing part to do is find something to order out of this big booklet. I don't know why they can't make it breakfast, lunch and dinner, just three items. Um, anyways, we'll see. Look at those expressions.
whiskeys look 